Yes, there are ways to get more out of assets using the power of DeFi without jumping into the uncharted territory of unaudited contracts, shaky trade-offs, and tokens that are nothing but a sad meme, where there's a serious danger of losing hard-earned money instead of growing it and launching it into a one-way trip to Moontown. In this new series, we're taking up the challenge of making the DeFi newbies comfortable enough to make their own choices, choose their own adventures, and at least dip their toes into decentralized finance, potentially coming out on the other side boasting a satisfied smile. By now, I expect you to understand what DeFi or decentralized finance stands for, but summing it up, it is how the decentralization folks tackle financial services, mostly by using blockchain and cryptocurrency technology, resulting in a constant innovation in this space. And with DeFi now having over $13.3 billion locked in it, there's no secret to everyone and their dogs want a piece of the cake, leading to lots of noise and sometimes confusion. Where should I go? How do I get in? So if you're like me and get really lost in the middle of it all, I'm glad to tell you that although it sounds very complicated, it is only as complicated as we want it to be. In case you're just looking for a safe and secure way to get in, there are very interesting yet very simple solutions that will help you grow your assets. Firstly, I bring to you lending protocols. Let me give you a quick spoiler. They're like savings account, only a bit different. While there are multiple examples in the DeFi space that you can explore and even suggest down in the comments, I'll speak about my personal favorite, which is Aave. Aave is a depositing and borrowing money market protocol where those who make deposits, aka us, provide liquidity to the Aave protocol's market and earn passive income. It is without question the safest bet in terms of actually earning money with as little effort as possible. Again, like a savings account. You should be aware that this might not be the solution for you if you're looking to make a fortune overnight out of thin air. If it were, I'd be recording this for my penthouse's film studio. But however big or small the gains may be, results will differ depending on what asset you deposit and how much. And their performance is based on the asset's APY. According to Wikipedia, APY, or annual percentage yield, is a representation of an interest rate based on the compounding period of one year. APY figures allow a reasonable single point comparison of different offerings with varying compound schedules. So basically, the higher the APY, the more we're likely to get on top of what we deposited initially. And we don't even have to go looking for what the APY of a given asset is, as it tells us right there on the screen to help us call the shots. In addition, whatever we earn will add up to the total and keep the snowball rolling and growing because snowball. Lending protocols feel especially safe once you mix in stablecoins, such as DAI, which usually has a relatively good APY and almost no price fluctuation. So you're really in savings account territory there. Volatility does play a considerable role, as with basically everything in crypto, but once you get the gist of it, you'll be able to combine traditional swapping with depositing, making the most out of your assets. Also, keep in mind that like with every other transaction, there are fees associated with depositing and withdrawing funds. So always keep some ETH in your wallet so you can cover these. Hopefully that's enough to start fiddling with it and embark on your DeFi journey. To help you do that, the Pillar Wallet has Aave natively integrated into the app, making it absolutely easy to deposit your assets and track their performance all in one place. So you can download yours by clicking here or in the link down in the description of this video. But there's more to just lending protocols in DeFi. So subscribe to see what's coming next. For now, I bid you farewell. Have a nice one.